Our question today is, Michael, when selling my business, should I include the real estate in the sale? Well, that's going to depend on your business and how closely uh, the real estate's related to the business. But in a general answer, I would say you really want to look at separating those first. Here's why I say that. Some businesses are including the real estate. Now that business buyer has to have the equity, spend the equity to buy your business and the real estate. What well, might be that someone buying the real estate would pay more for the real estate separately and someone buying the business would pay more for the business separately. Okay? <clears throat> An example is maybe you do a uh, sale lease back and your company controls the space, the building, the facilities for a long period of time. You sell it to an investor and you use an investment broker like us that can really maximize that lease and value so that you get more money for that property and you protect your business and the buyer of your business in the future to have long-term control of that space. Now when you sell your business, they don't have to invest in real estate, they just have to have the equity to buy your business. So a lot of times you can get more by selling the real estate first and then the business. And um, if we can be of service, you're invited to reach out to us. Ask Michael Bull is brought to you by these great companies. To discover more about their benefits and services, visit CREshow.com.